Hey guys, Nick here today, and, uh, thanks for 50 subs. Like, that's crazy. Didn't expect for that to ever happen, but I guess it did. Because everyone always wanted to put me down and say that I couldn't make it there, but I made it somewhere, and maybe I'll make it further. Maybe I can go to 100 subs. Or 76 million subs and beat PewDiePie. Just maybe. So, yeah. But I just wanted to say thanks for subscribing and such to my channel. And, yeah, I'm happy that you guys watched my crappy comic reviews. What was it? Quick comic reviews. I'm pretty sure it was crappy comic reviews. And my old video game and Lego stuff. So, yeah. But if you're looking at the... The crappily cropped picture in this... In this video, you can tell... That this is the guy that's also in my profile picture. And his name is Professor Herschel Layton. Professor Herschel Layton stars in a series of video games for the Nintendo DS and 3DS called Professor Layton. And the best way I can describe him is as a British Indiana Jones. And if they made a movie, he should be played by Benedict Cumberbatch. So, yeah. That is Professor Layton. But they already had a movie, and I'll get on that later. So, the the 3DS games are basically um, puzzle, adventure, point and click, uh, visual novel kind of things. So, the... The main, the main draw, in my opinion, isn't even the puzzles. It's just the stories. Because the stories are always really interesting and just brain-boggling and mind-teasing most of the time. And sometimes they can just be a bit silly, but most of the time they are very good stories. And, yeah, they're sometimes they rival probably some of the Telltale games and... That might not be saying much, but still, they're they're very good. And, yeah, and he has an assistant named Luke. So, yeah, they're pretty great games. And, of course, the puzzles are very good. They are very good brain teasers. And even after you're done with the story, you can go back and play all the puzzles again. So, that's pretty fun. I enjoy the puzzles and the story. And... Also, they have, like, fully animated cutscenes and fully voice act characters in English. Wow. I can't believe it's not Japanese. And, yeah, they're just very, very good games to play on the, on the DS and stuff, just on the go. But why... <laughs> Why is it my profile image? Like, anybody can say that if they played them. And the reason is because the game's Professor Layton, he is an inspiration. Like, Professor, he always said, whenever you solve a puzzle... Or even when you don't solve a puzzle, he'll always say, Every puzzle has an answer. That's my imitation of Professor Layton. And, yeah, and then you feel like, wow, he's right. There's an answer to everything. Everything is great, yeah. And he also points fingers at people. Who are guilty. And it's epic. So, yeah. Also, he has a movie and it's really, really good. Probably the best video game movie ever. Because 
it, it's not even just an adaptation of one of the games. It makes its only complete story, and it's really good. But I guess it's probably good because it's animated, and you can do a lot more with animation than you can with uh, the live-action Super Mario Bros. or or Tomb Raider again. <laughs> so, yeah, it's really good. I have it on DVD. You guys know what DVD is? No, you guys probably only use Netflix and Amazon Prime Instant Video. But back in the old day, you could watch movies on a disc, and it was pretty fantastic. So, and like I, I show them to people whenever they come over to my house, or on my birthday too. So it's a time honored tradition, and yeah. The games that I have for him are uh, Professor Layton and the Miracle Mask. Uh, the new one where basically he plays his daughter, which I'm really not a fan of. Because it's just, it's not as much of an archaeological mystery as it is just a simple detective mystery. Uh, I have Professor Layton in the Curious Village. Which is really hard for me because um, my brain not big enough for the puzzles. So, yeah, that's that's not always fun, but it's still a good game, and it's still well-written and such. And, of course, I have my favorite game of his, Professor Layton vs. Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, where it's just genius. Like, they have all the good, the good part of Phoenix Wright, which is, of course, the actual trials and saying objection and doing things because you're an attorney and all the good things of Professor Layton, like the puzzles and the story, and they just put them together. Now, you might say, now, the, the, those two worlds are just so such, such a difference. Professor Layton is semi-realistic, but still very fantasy-like. And, and, and Phoenix Wright is more realistic. So they both, so they put, so the answer is, they put both of them in a fantasy setting. Wow, it leveled the playing field. And yes, it is just very fun. So the summary of the video is, I like Professor Layton, and, uh, you should get his games. All right, games thought for like, 10 bucks used. Just, just go out there and solve some puzzles. And subscribe to PewDiePie. And yeah, that's all you really need to do. Thanks for watching this stupid ramble. This rant kind of thing. I don't know. I just wanted to explain the longest running mysteries of my channel. That nobody ever cared about. Alright, that's gonna be it. Bye-bye. And thanks for subscribing. Every puzzle has an answer.